right, hello guys, welcome back to the Two Latin Brothers podcast. Uh, as you can tell, we are in a different location. Uh, yeah, we, we. I don't know how we got here. Um, just for the sake of it, we decided to change it up. Instead of being in the podcasting studio, we're in a TV studio. We're in a. We're on a set. Uh, we're we're here. Um, notice the, this is probably the only time this will probably ever happen. Maybe uh, possibly. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, there's a lot of satellites here. Like, I mean, I don't <laughs> It's whatever, you know? We're, we're getting it done just for you. One time only. <laughs> one time only. One time only. Yeah, one time only. One uh, time only. We're having fun with it. Yeah. Um, so let's let's just dive right in. Uh, bro, bro, go for it. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> All right. So my week has oh, been oh, recently. I didn't even ask you how your week's been. No, I know. But uh, uh, that's how we kind of go with it. All right. This. How's your week been? <laughs> my week has been uh, reasonable. Um, I met some uh, interesting people uh, this week. Uh, there was a guest speaker, as oh, well as, oh, okay, as well yeah. as, um, you know, it's, it's that exam season. It's it's around that end time where there's just exams everywhere. Right. So yeah. people are busy. People are like stressed. I ha- I personally have no real exams. So uh, yeah. Uh, so okay. So I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's also because you're in the college environment. So yeah. you kind of. Like, you get, like, secondhand stress from all those people. Yeah, I know. And it's because you're surrounded by literally thousands of other people who are freaking out. Yeah. Uh, because they didn't study all semester. Now they're cramming. Yep. Uh, and uh, in my case, um, I, I feel like the uh, the Christmas stress. The Christmas like, stress. The Christmas stress. Ah. Because um, people, like, been talking... For, like, the last three weeks, people have been talking about putting up their Christmas tree. Ah, I see. And... Uh, and meanwhile, I'm just like sitting there, like, yeah, I don't even know if we're doing that this year. Like, I don't yeah, even, we don't, we don't really. I don't even know what's going on, you know. Like, uh, I, and and to be honest with you, it's kind of funny because the other day, uh, uh, for those who don't know, I work at a school. Yeah. Um. So there was like this teacher. She was saying how she, she went out and got like a bunch of Christmas presents. Mm. And she's like, and now the the issue is, is they're sitting. You know how most cars in their trunk have like that compartment below. Oh yeah, yeah. That's where she's been keeping all the gifts. Oh, because she's like, I don't know where to hide them in the house because I know they're gonna find them if I put them in the house. Oh, I see. So she's like, and I was talking with my mom if I could put the gifts in the house, but then I know she <laughs> doesn't know how to keep a secret. Yeah. So she probably end up telling the kids. So she's like, so now I'm freaking out because I bought the Christmas gifts so early this year and I don't know where to put them. Oh man. <laughs> and she's like, I need to wrap them. <laughs> Yeah, that's a toughie. I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, so Just she's like, the, the the trick is put them all in your car, no, drive no. to go get them wrapped. No, so look, so this is what a teacher told her because yeah. we're like in the staff room. Yeah. So the teacher goes, why don't you just take them all out? Okay. And put them in your class, like under, like in a like in a spot in your class, like in oh, a desk okay. or something. Yeah. And then she goes, that'd be a great idea. She's like, I'm gonna take out all the papers from like one of the like yeah. <laughs> like just a stack of paper. Yeah. She's like, my desk's gonna look like a mess for the rest of the year, but it's it's fine. fine. Oh, well, I mean, it's just for December. Yeah, yeah, But, I mean, I think it's funny, too, yeah. that she's like, I don't know what to do. Help him. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I don't know. This is the first time I do it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, so that that's kind of like the stress right now. Mm. Um, end of the year. And, you know, things are wrapping up. The, the quarter's ending. Um, this is the last quarter of the year. So, you know, yeah. it's getting it's getting real. Yep. Um, people, you know, getting the numbers in. <laughs> Uh, it it is it's something about this time of year where there's so many things going on. Yeah, businesses uh, just wrapping up their new budgets. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the new budgets started like in October. Yeah, obviously, yeah, because yeah. they're getting. It's usually around that time anyway. Yeah. yeah. So like, new quarter comes. Yeah. It's, it's the time to cram in everything you were supposed <laughs> to get done for this yeah. year. Any New Year's resolutions that you know didn't get done need to get done now. <laughs> yeah, because you know you're, you've been slacking. <laughs> yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, imagine somebody who who put down like I'm a I'm a walk a thousand thousand steps every day and they only walk like four. <laughs> oh, good luck to you. You're gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna decease uh, on a live. Yeah, clock in uh, clock in ten thousand every day in December. You still won't have enough. Yeah. Um. But I think it's definitely crazy how, um, it, it's it's a it's an interesting time of the year. Mm. The end of the year. I, I mean, I don't know. Like, usually we do like a holiday themed episode. Yeah. And I don't know. We haven't thought about anything. We really we haven't. Because we've been like out of the studio. We're in a different studio. We're just, honestly, at this point, I feel like we're just going to see how this goes. Yeah. Um. I don't know. We haven't talked about it, how we're going to wrap up this year. We haven't done any of that because we're so busy with life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. Um, but I, I mean, it's, it's it's fair. Yeah. Um. As you, as you all know, we, we have lives. Yeah, you know? we have lives. Um. 
This is an absolutely everything we have to offer you. If only it was. <laughs> if, all, if only it was. If I could dedicate 110% to this, I'd do it. But oh, I yeah. can't. <laughs> absolutely. I got, I got, I got um, food. I re- got bills to pay. Realistically, we are planning more for you, though. Yeah, we are. We have been. Uh, you'll hear more about that, I think, in the last episode of the year. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll deep dive. We'll deep dive into that. Yep. Um, we our, do, our tra- it's it's gonna we're calling it the transitional period. Yeah. Uh, um, again, there's, there's, there's another transitional period. <laughs> this there's a lot to cover. Yeah. So uh, just just stay tuned because there's a lot coming your way in the the new year. Well, yeah. Somewhat new year. <laughs> somewhat. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> somewhat I think it'd be later year. on in the year. Yeah. But we're definitely we definitely have a lot a lot coming in. Uh, this is more of like. Uh, I don't know. This is like a, this is this has been like a five year marketing test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit. Yeah. That's that's what we've been doing. Uh, this is like a, a whole uh, we've been testing the the market and uh, seeing the results. No, uh, I think it's definitely crazy to think about um, how long we've been doing this. Oh yeah. Like I I I tell my friends about it, or or people who know me who know who know me from before the podcast. Oh yeah. They go yeah you no know, uh you have a podcast and I go yeah. Like how's that going? I'm like I'm still doing it, and they go, "That's crazy." Yeah, that's abs- I don't know how. Yeah. how you do? Like, cause people think it's kind of crazy that every week. Yeah, I find the time to do this. Yeah, and, and the whole reason this podcast even started was just because I I'll, one day I decided to say, you know what, we're not spending enough time with each other. Yeah, and then we're like, okay, let's book it. Yeah, and so, then this became a conversation of two brothers. Yeah, living out their lives. Right, and then. Suddenly, three thousand people were like, "You know what? <laughs> yeah. I'm listening." Yeah, you. no, but I think it's I think it has to do with the fact that we always start. So, how's your week been? Because yeah, that's 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 how it actually is. Like yeah. when we're not recording, and we don't we go a lot a while without talking to each other. Actually, I think we talk to each other more now than than before. Yeah, but I think it was back then because I wasn't. I you was were in, in college. I was in college like twelve yeah. hours out of the day. Yeah, and I come home and be like, "Hey, so um." We're going to bed. <laughs> like I'd eat dinner and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to bed. Like I got yeah. I got no energy for for, for me. Uh, I was in high school, right? Yeah. So like every day I was like socializing. Yeah. I'd get home, not have much to do. Right. So like there was just a lot of gaps where I'm just like, where's my brother at? <laughs> yeah. Right. So yeah. and there's also a time frame where you don't remember watching movies. Yeah, yeah. I was so busy, like there, there's a lot of stuff. Like there, are actually, there's quite a few movies you sometimes will talk about. Yeah, that I've never seen. Like Click. Yeah, you guys watched Click at one point, and I never saw it. Like, yeah, I still haven't seen. That it. That was years ago. Yeah, right. But but that you was what, before you were even in college. But but you get what I'm saying. Like there are things like that where I definitely feel like you you do have to sacrifice stuff to to move forward in life. Oh yeah, and it sucks that it's family. Honestly, it's like pick <laughs> pick something you like, pick something you enjoy analyze that one thing you enjoy whether it be a hobby or not and try to transform it to something that's productive and beneficial to you but keep it in a way that you still enjoy it right yeah no for sure it's it's hard um and i think we we have had um instances where we have gone i'd say a few days without like we'll yeah. say hi and stuff in the but early but in we the won't. early days in the early days what we've done before is that we have um that that was really weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the things are not moving. No. Yeah, um, the 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 lights in the room, not not the uh, set lights, shut off. Uh, for those wondering, I don't know if it got brighter or not. I don't I don't know, um, but that's what happened. Uh, we're kind of freaking out because it's like pitch black behind the camera. Um, Anyways, that's not important. The the, th- uh, the control room shut off too. I thought you should know that. <laughs> that's probably why. Um, <laughs> It's it's just the sensor in the room. We're we're baffled because it's the first time we're doing this. Yeah, we're uh, um in this room. <laughs> right. We're, no one's holding our hand. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're just we're just kind of winging it right now. And if that's, the that's, sunlights go off, head sw- I'm head, blind. Head sw- we're using our phones, not yeah. microphones. Again, guys, this is a comedy podcast. This isn't, this isn't too serious. You know yeah. I mean, like, uh, oh, for sure. <laughs> I, like, well, where am I? I? Did you notice the yellow lights? Yeah. I, there, there's, there is, in fact, yellow lights. I don't know what that means. Uh, um, <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, but there's definitely um, d- definitely things that I think we we kind of missed out on. Like, But uh, I do think... The more the thing is, is the more we do stuff like this, I feel yeah. like our bond is growing. Oh yeah! Like before this, we spent an hour, yeah, like in a McDonald's just talking. Oh yeah! Like and that's that's what I think is what makes the podcast better because we're already mid conversation when we come sit down. Yeah, 
And like the whole point is to make you guys feel a part of that conversation. For sure. Like I, I've used the expression more than once of being like, turn us on, let us be your ambient noise. And then when you hear something interesting, you basically tune in. Right. Or you're, we're the white noise of life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, but it's definitely, it's definitely interesting. Oh, and it's interesting. When I was in high school, yeah. like um, not, not even, there's people that from my high school years still listening to this podcast. Yeah. And they're like, how is this? And how is that? Yeah. And I'm like, huh. Y'all still listen to this? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I, it's they, they're talking to me like, like I, I told them the story directly. Right, yeah, and I'm no, like, that's no, for sure. Yeah. I can't remember the other day we were talking about, what was it? We were we, we said something about Mission Impossible. Yeah. Or, or the train sequence. Nah. How, like imagine like you were the guy in the train or something like that. Yeah. And so I was talking with a friend of mine who's in Australia. And you're probably listening to this right now. You're thinking, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, um, so we were talking and they go, um, yeah, that was a crazy thought. Like, you know, if you were the guy in the train, like, you would have died. Oh, yeah. They're like, for sure, no doubt in my mind. Yeah. But it's first one to go. <laughs> but, but the thing is, the conversation's like, I told you. Like, I personally, yeah. directly, we had that conversation. Yeah. And it's very cool to see that. Also, um, she, she, uh, they're definitely convinced that yeah. we, uh, we, we, we script our episodes. Yeah, we don't. Uh, and we don't, even though we have a teleprompter. I, I've, done, I've done podcasts before. <laughs> we have before. a teleprompter right over there. That's off. <laughs> yeah, no. I, that we, I've done podcasts before where you have to write a script. Yeah. This isn't, this is raw. <laughs> this is, well, I mean, unless we say something out of line, which is a rare case. I mean, sometimes I mean, sometimes you say stuff out of line. Okay. <laughs> uh, reasonably out of line. <laughs> uh, awkward shop. <laughs> uh, reasonably out of line. Uh, but but definitely, uh, I mean, I, there's been a few times I've said stuff out of line to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Um. <laughs> but it's like, again, comedy podcast, we live in the freedom of, no. of speech. <laughs> no, yeah, I know for sure. I, I mean, mean uh, even though in Canada, it's like more freedom of expression. Yeah, but you know, but, you know we, we try. Um, but I, I definitely think it's uh, it's it's interesting to have – what's the word for it? I was going to say dichotomy, but that doesn't feel the right word. No, <laughs> no not definitely not the right That's word. That's definitely not the right word. Um, I was going to say it's definitely seeing – those relationships grow. Yeah. I mean, also the way we do the podcast has changed a lot. Oh yeah. I mean, I think I think the more I sit here and the more um we, we just kind of go about doing yeah. it, it's definitely interesting. And I think that there's been a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of like that we kind of documented um some of your teen years and some mm -hmm. of my like early adult years. And now it's your early adult years and my late like 20s. <laughs> I love how you're about to say late adult life. Yeah, I was gonna and say you were like, adult. no, I'm not. It's like, uh, I mean, you uh, haven't even had a midlife uh, crisis yet. I mean, it'll be great when it's on the pie. Yeah. Anyway, but um, one day, like, my hair is like green or something. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, look at us. We're turning gray. <laughs> um, no, it's not but, a filter. This is real. <laughs> uh, no, but I do think it's kind of funny how yeah. um, we have grown a lot and are, and I think. One thing that I think is kind of interesting is our, our 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 core views on certain things haven't changed. Oh yeah, like when you know they say stuff like um, like when the whole truck thing happened. Oh yeah, during COVID here and oh, yeah. and, and, and where we at? Actually, uh, uh, one one of my friends was there. Yeah, during that whole thing. Yeah, because daddy used to drive a truck. Of course. Yeah. Um. And and so and we talked about how like you know like. They were upset how you know nothing happened. Yeah, and we're like, yeah, that's what protesting is. You you go, you voice your problems. Yeah, doesn't mean there's gonna be change. <laughs> yeah, I know it's uh, it's called government. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, like it's kind of crazy. And there's people who are still complaining about how they lost their life and retirement savings. Oh yeah, and okay, let's not get into the uh, uh, whole politics no, no, of, of course. Canada because no, 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 that's I, not. I wasn't gonna get into that, but yeah. I'm just saying how like we 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 both still fairly agree. Yeah, how dumb the whole thing kind of was. Yeah, I mean, there's I mean, a there's a lot of there's a lot of choices that this government has made. <laughs> course, I mean, yeah. um, in the last uh, few years that uh, were good in the beginning, right, and then um, uh, rapidly declined in good into, decision making into chaos. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily blame anyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, because freedom of expression. <laughs> but realistically, it's the people who vote. Uh, um, yeah. So, uh, like, at I, the end of the day, kind of our fault. I, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you can I mean, vote if, back there. If you keep, because realistically, no, but in the last election, you can vote. So, I mean, technically, well, you're real. Okay, but the you're, people. You're, I know, but you're out of the blame. I'm in the blame. Yeah, you're in the blame. It's all I, your fault. I, 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 I voted, I'm blaming so. you. I know, I voted, but I, well, I was like, every everyone bro, who's listening to this right now is just like, I voted for Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna be, I, I, I don't blame well, bro, you. Bro, I voted neutral, if I'm being Like, honest. realistically, <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Like, um, I, I think there was a statistic recently released yeah. that um, I think it's 
one out of four people. Yeah. Or I can't remember specifically. I think it's two out of four people. Yeah. Um. So split down the middle. Yeah. Oh man, I can't remember the exact statistic, but something with a four. <laughs> All right. Anyway, just tell us anyways, what it is. it's just it's just a, a ratio uh, stating that a lot of Canadians mm-hmm. don't want Trudeau reelected, mm-hmm. and it's just it's crazy because yeah. you go back three four years and everybody wanted him. Everybody wanted him. Even we wanted him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know, a and lot of. Considering what was going on at the yeah. time, like politically, what was going on and globally as well. Yeah, certain it things. It was the right. It was the right well, decision okay. at the time. I'm not gonna say it was the right decision. <laughs> yeah, but what I can say yeah. is that it was. Uh, it was definitely something. <laughs> okay, let's say. Okay, at least the first term was, was the right. The first decision. The first term was the right decision. Yeah. The second one, eh, it's a hit or miss. If I'm being, honest. I mean, there was a lot of options. I mean, you can never truly okay. When it comes to politics, yeah. you can never really say one party party is correct. No, oh, for sure. Because and, and, realistically, and it's because like it's because most people, especially when it comes to like our core values and stuff, and what yeah. we consider important, for, it's different from person to person. Yeah, and and, and you can and, have and, and you can have split split views. Right. Yeah. So you're like, I agree with this part, and I agree with this part, but it doesn't necessarily mean I agree with an entirety. But I'm leaning more this way, no, so I'm sure. gonna go that way. For sure. And I definitely think there are. Um, people who are kind of split because yeah. they agree with some things like conservatively and some things liberally. Yeah. Right. So it's it's and we can't pick and choose. You can only yeah. go one way or the other. You know. And we need a party that does a little of everything and stays in the middle. <laughs> yeah. You know. We need a neutrality party. Yeah. Um. That's what we and, need. So. And, uh, and don't go for NDP. Right? So. Uh, <laughs> so vote for uh, Victor. Twenty twenty. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. It, if I see a percentage of numbers coming out and my name's on that thing, I'm going to be very annoyed. I don't want that kind of responsibility. He's just a random. I'm just some random kid who who watched the news. Doesn't, well mean I, doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. No, and you know what? I, I think ever since you started doing your whole radio thing, like I've been paying attention yeah. way more to the news. And oh, the yeah, because I've been, I've been focusing... Well, I like to keep myself informed now. Right, yeah. Mainly just because if I need something to talk about on a bit yeah, about the world, right. I need to have all of the knowledge to my brain. Like just now, I, I fumbled on a statistic. No, for sure. But, I, all but I said I, was it was something of a four, yeah, and then but, I said it was a ratio. But I mean, you know, I think that's uh, that's also something interesting. Yeah. Right? Like I... I I only keep I only used to keep track of it if it was you know like election season and stuff yeah like kind of seeing like what 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 the parties were saying and yeah what's going on kind of looking at the polls but now you're looking like, at the full stories yeah now I'm following along I'm subscribed to Pierre Elliott's YouTube page like it's Pierre it's, Elliott yeah no not Pierre Elliott um uh, Pierre Polyev Pierre Polyev I don't know why I said Pierre Elliott oh okay <laughs> yeah he was amazing though yeah not gonna lie yeah ten out of ten <laughs> ten out of bring him back to life <laughs> I love that clip of him eating an apple it's the greatest thing oh. ever. If you have not seen, Australia uh, uh, News Polyev, talked yes, about this. Yes. Uh, the UK talked about it. Uh, I think even Australia. Turkey, Turkey did a bit on Australia it. Australia talked about it. Uh, Turkey did a bit on it too. Really? Yeah, there was like That's crazy. Uh, I, I saw like I, I mean saw a lot of a lot of people. Uh, it's they're having mixed mixed feelings about him. Yeah. Because yeah. some some people argue that his personality has changed a little bit. Yeah. From the start of like his campaign. Right. Um, but I feel like that comes with deciding to start a campaign. You know what I mean? You have to change your approach. You have to change your approach to just life in entirety. For sure, Because you know every move you make... Is now being watched. Is now being watched, exactly. Watch me, as Pierre Elliott Trudeau would say. Yeah. Um, That's the guy we need. (laughs) Yeah, if he was here today. Where's that bad at? I know. Uh, Uh, What a time. Uh, Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, But uh, that was a different time, for sure. Yeah. Uh, But I think And then then there's, there's his son. You know, yeah. Um... And we're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's Anyways, move on. Um, uh, I think uh, we should uh, take a short intermission. And we'll be back right after this. This podcast is brought to you in part by Two Latin Brothers Podcast. You thought there wouldn't be a commercial, but there is. So make sure to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you guys right now. And we're back. <laughs> that is not the right time to be back. <laughs> and we're back. He just yawned, and now I'm talking, and I'm forcing uh, it right yeah, into okay. it. Yeah, okay, we're back. Yeah. Uh, I tried to take a nap and he woke me up. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I was sprawling on the. <laughs> We're back in action. <laughs> back yeah. in action. Uh, um, okay, so what have we watched this week? I mean, I don't, I don't think we've watched anything. No, actually, I I've been watching something. Right. Uh, my my new addiction. 
Uh, <laughs> new addiction. Well, new addiction. we don't have time for addictions uh, here. I, I, I binged basically an entire season of uh, Peaky Blinders. Right. Um, thank you, Shane. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I st- I've yet to still start season two. Yeah. Um, but I will. Uh, I, I honestly think you should watch it. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty good. I mean, the whole the, and there's such power quotes too in that. Yeah, show. Uh, you know we should probably get them on the podcast before the year wraps. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe we do it here again. Yeah, <laughs> Next who knows? Week. Who knows? Um, so, but um, we definitely have. Uh, I know. Okay, so you were watching the show. I've been told to watch it many a time. Yep. Uh, I just never got around to it. I just don't don't have the time. If I'm being honest, I barely have time to watch a 20 minute episode of anime nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, because I and when we do sit down and watch TV, I mean, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Like 95% of the time I'm sitting there answering all the text messages of my day. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm literally doing like a rundown of like all the people who like snapped me, messaged me or whatever. And I'm just like, I'll, I'll like, I'll answer all the texts. Yeah. And then I'll be like, okay. And then I'll like sit down and start watching whatever it is we're watching for like yeah. five, 10 minutes. And then I'll look down at my phone again and like everybody's I'm, answered. I'm, I'm <laughs> constantly writing new ideas. Yeah. For, for, for things that we're trying to do. Right. Yeah. And I'm teasing. I'm really teasing. Yeah, I know. You're really, year. you're really, you're really teasing um, that. <laughs> well, realistically, such uh, a tease. Just, uh, living. Um, so yeah, we haven't really watched much. I've been watching Peaky Blinders. Definitely love it. Yeah. If I were to give it a rating right now, I'd say like, whew, like a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Wow, out that's of pretty 10. high. That's that's yeah. pretty high. Yeah. Um, what, what was it we watched? Ma- mainly, it? mainly just because I love action. Oh, was it? What was it? What was it? It wasn't yesterday. It was the day before. We watched a movie. Oh, we watched, oh, watched Freelancer. Freelancer. Freelancer, yeah. Yes, uh, we watched Freelancer with John Cena. It was interesting. Yeah, I don't. I mean, personally, I think uh, it was it was a decent movie. It's I one of those, no. It, I'll be honest. It's one of those movies where you can watch and shut off your brain a little bit. Yeah, like you. Yeah. Like I mean, <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you shut off your brain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, but it's just enough. It's just, it's enough to sit down and be like I'm watching a movie. Yeah, what uh, movie? It's I, honestly okay. the way the movie's shot at times it feels like a TV movie. Yeah, see, and I think that's an that's an interesting thing to actually notice because when you look <laughs> at TV now, yeah, a lot of the shots done, yeah, are very cinematic. Uh, like like especially TV shows. Like yeah. what is it like Wheel of Time? Oh yeah, those shots. Some of those shots yeah. when they pan, it's like that's cinematic. Why are we yeah. doing this? No, realistically, like, I you could film that show mm-hmm. as a movie, yeah, and release it, yeah, and people would be like, yeah, I'm, I'm that's a movie, yeah, that's that's a movie right there. Boom. No, no questions Boom. asked. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like Prime, Netflix, Disney mm-hmm. have really been stepping up their game when it comes to producing. It's because they're all in there in a full out war with each other. Yeah, and realistically, like all, like you know, the cinematic cut screen. Mm-hmm. So like, it makes it feel. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, makes for it sure. feel like it's definitely. And the soundtracks like for these things are crazy. Too. Oh yeah. No, what is it? Um, the other day they released how apparently. Uh, Amazon almost got the rights to Percy Jackson. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently they were all in a bidding war for it. Wow. And Disney uh, Disney got it Yeah. Uh, to, to make the show. And so, and I think that's crazy because imagine the millions of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. that were put on the line for this. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things where you think, you know what? Maybe I should write a story. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should write a world that creates something amazing for a TV show. I mean, uh, you know, Netflix. I think that calls for a book update. No, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I have. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who don't know and those of you just listening and tuning in. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm Agent, writing a, Agent I'm, I'm my brother, a has been running. Yeah, I've been running. <laughs> Not running. I'm running. Writing. I'm writing. He's, I'm he's running. on the run. <laughs> I'm on the lamp. Uh, he's uh, he's been writing a, a book. Yeah, uh, and um, it's a fiction book. It's okay. The only way. Okay, so I've been looking. Okay, so one thing that I've been looking at is that they've been. I've been. I read a book about about genre and how to like make sure you nail your genre right. Yeah. Uh, and my genre <laughs> is a mix. It's a mix of like sci-fi and fantasy. Cool. So it's like a sub, it's like a subgenre of the two. Yeah. That I don't think it's been like the way I'm the way I'm trying to do it doesn't really exist. Mm. But it's like because like I, I was thinking about it and they're like you no know, modern fantasy, but it's not really it's like modern, but it's 
it's too modern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I'm running into this weird like issue where you don't know what your genre is, but you're in limbo between a few. Yeah, I'm in limbo between a few, but I definitely think um, it's coming along. Also, I've kind of changed the formatting of the book again. Really? Yeah, because like before, okay. So for those who don't know, I think I, I said this in the last yeah update. So. Each chapter. That was a few episodes ago. Yeah, so it's like a while ago. Good so luck I'm finding a, it. I'm gonna give a, a quick update here. Okay, so before, just just to, just to preface, yeah. give them the idea of the book. Okay, so the book is about a boy who gets sucked into another world. Um, Isekai, basically. I'm Isekai watch character. Anime. It's basically uh, a person re- born. Yeah, in he world. gets sucked into a world where all the gods of mythology are real. Okay. But they don't identify as their god. They personify their god, but they're not their god, so to say. And they all live in like a, their own little realm. So kind of like um, in actually Thor, Love and Thunder, Thor, Love and Thunder, uh, Omnipotent City. Yeah. You know, you know, it's crazy. I wrote this down like, I don't know, like I want to say like seven years ago. Yeah. Before. <laughs> yeah. Before Thor, before Thor, 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 Love and Thunder. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. But uh, uh, yeah. So I have that kind of going on. Right. Yeah. And so I've had to do a lot of research on just mythologies from all around the world and all of this stuff. So it's definitely been like a lot. It's been very time consuming, yep. if I'm being honest, to make sure I get personality traits and certain like little things that only like if you're like if you're from Japan. Yeah. And I, I put something in there like yeah. just for you. Yeah. If you if you know anything about Japanese mythology, you're like, oh, my, how did he do that? Yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah, yeah. I, I've seen you reading a lot. Yeah. on like mythology yeah it's crazy i have i've read like a lot of greek books roman books um i've read a few japanese books now I, i've recently gone and this is kind of funny i recently gone into australian native gods really yeah because i'm going like i'm trying to cover everybody yeah it's I gonna got, take it's gonna take i got i got into the mesopotamian the other day oh. uh that's kind of crazy because you know the israelites had something to do with that yeah so that's uh, that's kind of crazy um i've tackled um the uh, mexican aztec gods uh, I'm entering into the Brazilian pretty soon. I have a whole book on that I, I had plan to read. So there's definitely a lot of research yeah. that's going into this. But um, I, obviously, I'm trying to make sure you know I, I get it right, and I don't, I don't like one of the big focuses is the Norse, the Greek, and the Roman right now. Yeah. Um, and and the Egyptian. Okay. Uh, those are kind of like the four big groups because they are the biggest ones. Yeah. I um, mean. You- you just name those and people have an, an idea right. of maybe some of the deities. In there. Right. So I'm obviously, you know, and I'm changing some things here and there, you know, because uh, it's still a book. Right? It's still a book, it's right? Still, it's, still, still, it's still fiction, right? Yeah. So, but obviously I've had to kind of streamline things because the way I had written the book was um, there are 12 main characters. Yeah. Oh, that's how I had initially planned the book. And then uh, you follow like one of the, uh, so there's like 12 main characters and then there's like one super main character <laughs> yeah so um i had him like it was be like his chapter then another pers- another chapter of like somebody else and then yeah. his chapter again then another chapter somebody else then his chapter again then you know yeah kind of like it's, that. it's a back and forth yeah it's like so, cutting scenes between a sub story but the sub story is 12 characters yeah and there's 12 different stories going on at the same time yeah and so one would argue write different books, but you're trying to break the norm. Yeah, I was. I'm trying to write. I'm basically writing twelve different books at the same time. Uh, it's very challenging. Yeah. Because like I, I'm dealing with a lot of like different things. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> so trying to follow like the right tones. Like if I'm writing from the perspective of a female, if mm-hmm. I'm writing from the perspective of an older gentleman, if I'm writing from the perspective of you know like just an, a teen boy, right? Yeah, so like yeah. there's different a, a lot of different perspectives and just trying to balance it all out. So I scrapped all. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I scrapped because if I'm being honest, like yeah. it was, it was, I was racking my brain, and I got into a point where I had writer's block. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't write anything. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like I spent like two months. Yeah. Just staring at the doc. Like I just sit there and stare at it, mind numbing. And you're like, I don't know what to do with this. Because like, like I wrote a chapter from every single character's perspective. Yeah. And then I had like I had like twenty, let's say twenty chapters. What if you? Oh no, that's gonna restructure you. Never mind. So look, so, so okay, so I had twenty eight <laughs> chapters. What I was gonna say was, what if you just focused on one book, so like he, the, of, about one character, yeah. and then released twelve different books, side characters, no, side no, stories. no, no, but have them be like their own like franchise. Okay, yeah, and then have crossovers, and no, and then have the main character, yeah, from like the, like the the actual main character be released last. 
You yeah. know what I mean? So like okay. twelve books released, yeah. main character uh-huh. comes out, and then you know it you ties could, it all you, together. Yeah, you could have fans yeah. from like one one franchise. Okay, so, so okay, so this and is then what they'd I've done. be like, oh my gosh, so I gotta is, read this. So this is what I've done. Okay, so yeah. basically what I'm doing is this. Okay, so I basically taken the main character, the Superman yeah. character, yeah, and I'm gonna follow his timeline. Yeah, like I'm just gonna write from his perspective. Yeah, and then when all of these other characters jump into the story, yeah, it's when they'll appear. Yeah, um, because I've discovered that writing from you know different uh, oh the other thing too is like i've gone from like a person like i feel mm-hmm. to like he felt mm-hmm. so i've changed i've gone to like third person yeah so i'm like omnipresent now i'm yeah. just like kind of narrating and all that so it's not like personal per- narration it's like omnipresent narration where the narrator knows what's yeah, going yeah. on and the character well, obviously i'd hope you know where you're. i know where <laughs> i'm going so um no so I, i've done that and doing this has changed everything yeah like i've changed the timeline of like the events of certain things, mm-hmm. like five to six times now, oh, to wow. the point where I've concluded that in order for me to tell this story, mm-hmm. I'm gonna need anywhere between eight to seven books. Eight to seven books. Yeah. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's eight uh, to seven books. Yeah, He's it's going uh, for it. I'm really going for it. Um, it's it's gotten kind of crazy. Um, but we're, we're running out of time here. Uh, I, I can tell. You, yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm rushing through this. If I'm being honest, I'm, I'm kind of yeah. like getting, I'm in the cliff notes here. Yeah, I know. Um, so but, uh, the guy in the back over there is like, you know, we gotta, gotta <laughs> he's hurry like, up. yo, yo, got another, we got another show in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, but what's going on is, is that right? So, yeah. um, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to write the perspectives of the other characters. Yeah. So I'm thinking of releasing novellas. Okay. Which if you don't know what a novella is, it's a short story. It's not it's not that long, but it kind of gives you enough to understand this character. Mm-hmm. And there are other very big writers who have done it before for yeah. their series of other characters where they'll release a novella to give you more insight about this character. Yeah. So I'm thinking of doing that because um it's gonna be like twelve novellas at this point. Yeah. But <laughs> well, no, it's like it's like eleven if I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, probably like thirteen. Okay. But um that that's kind of what's happening because I, I can't it's just it's too much. Yeah. Like it, it I mean, there are people who do it, you know, who yeah. write from like different perspectives and all that. Like the Game of Thrones is a really big series who does that. Yeah, like yeah. it's hopping around constantly. But the way I was writing it, if I'm being honest, like it's a very big undertaking. And I don't think any. I don't think you could fit that in one book. I, I was looking at it. I'm like, if I write this, it's going to yeah. be like almost a thousand pages. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a brick. Yeah. Like you're going to be able to stack these up. And build like, you know, you know, you know when it's like you collect all of the books and you put them together. Yeah. It, it's just that one book creates yeah. the image. No, and the thing is, is like you know when you're like describing stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to like. Be, I've started to like sum up descriptions. Yeah, like I'm not even being overly detailed because yeah. it's it's gotten to the point now where detail is kind of like lax, and people are, like if someone reads this and be like, "There's not enough detail here," I'm gonna be like, "You know what? There's like a thousand pages left." <laughs> like, yeah, <I> yeah. <laughs> if you don't think there's enough detail, you're not visualizing hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> like this is on you. Yeah. But it's uh, it's definitely that. Um, Moving away from that though, uh, that's that's kind of like the quick book update. Yeah, uh, I've definitely I've I've got like I've got like a partial timeline now. Yeah, and uh, it might change again. Yeah, who knows? Um, because I've discovered that certain care. Okay, so some of the main characters they yeah. have di- more they have more important roles than other characters. Yeah, and I'm kind of realizing now that the story I had laid before myself. Yeah, um, was really cool. It was really cool, but some of the structural elements of it didn't really make sense. Yeah. That's like why this character needed to be so important yeah. to the story or why it was relevant. Yeah. And so now that I have that, um, I've I've basically given every character a more a more personality. Okay. More more detailed, more story oriented as to like because there was like there was like two or three characters. Yeah. Like, I'm just here to hang out, my guy. Like that's, that's it. Like yeah. that's it. Like I'm here to hang out. Yeah. Like, and, and you need obviously you need one of those. Like yeah. you need one of those because it's, 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 it, and it, it tends to be the comedic relief sometimes. Yeah. 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 So so I definitely have one of those. Yeah. Um. But it's he, like Sokka from. But he doesn't uh, know he's the comedic Airbender. relief. That's the yeah. That's so funny. Well, I'll, no one knows that. No, I mean like relief. in the sense of like, he's like one of the strongest characters in the book. Yeah. But he's also the comedic relief. Oh okay. So like it's it's yeah, kind of like I've seen that happen before. It's it's kind of like I kind of flipped it. Yeah. You know. So it's and he's not like and he's like a sub main character. He's not even like a main character. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, it, obviously like there's a lot and it's it's a lot of stuff and it's just it's gonna take a lot of time and I don't have that right now. So yeah. like like right now I go home and I'm so tired. I sit yeah. on the couch. I eat dinner. Yeah. And I fight to watch a film. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I I fight to like focus yeah. on 
whatever it is we're watching. Mm. Also, because you, you're like, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna pass out. Like, yeah. dude, what is it like? I remember the other day what we were doing, and I was like falling asleep, and I'm like, you know, I forget this. Like, I just can't. <laughs> yeah. Like, so that that's that's been going on. Um, but apart from that, I'd say, you know, uh, that that's that's the that's the book update. And that's the episode. <laughs> uh, you really, I you mean, really get into it when you start talking. It's about it's hard. The book. It's hard, bro. It's hard. Yeah. Like it's it's really hard. Um, I mean, I haven't given a book update in like I think I think like two months. Yeah. Three months maybe. Yeah. Actually, I think since we've been. In Mexico. I mean, we also took a hiatus and went to Mexico. Yeah. Since so. since my, I think since before Mexico. Yeah. So um, a lot's happened, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, that's been the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, the update of our lives. <laughs> the update of our lives. The update of our lives in Agent's book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Anymore. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed. Make sure so to hit that follow button. And subscribe if you can um you know leave a comment whether it be up down left or right if you know somebody who would love this podcast you know just uh hit the them. share button hit the share button you know, uh, you know let them like, know like yo check this out <laughs> it's, it's kind of hilarious yeah yeah it's funny anyways guys we'll catch you guys on the next one peace bye